A few years back, an extraordinary incident unfolded in Africa's wildlife. This remarkable event occurred in Ambasili National Park, an expansive territory in southern Kenya. Across the grassy landscape, a diverse array of wild animals thrives. Spotted cheetahs utilize the space to stretch their legs, while striped zebras wander freely to their heart's content. One cannot miss the towering giraffes, whose impressive height rivals the native trees. However, the park's most renowned inhabitants are the elephants, which roam freely across the land. This site has become a popular attraction for tourists, who seize the opportunity to get up close with these majestic creatures. Presently, there are nearly 2,000 elephants that roam within the park. While the world is teeming with countless organisms, African elephants claim to be the largest land animals. Their size is not the only distinctive feature they possess. Remarkable physical attributes such as strength and endurance set them apart. Nevertheless, their impressive physique comes with a downside. These elephants require substantial food to maintain weight. And their incredible appetites demand constant feeding throughout the day. Another remarkable aspect of these creatures is their exceptionally long gestation period surpassing any other living animal. While human women typically carry their child for nine months, elephant cows can endure a pregnancy of up to 22 months. Scientists explain that this extended duration is crucial for the healthy development of their brains and the size of their limbs. Elephant fetuses require even more time to reach full maturity. Within Ambasili National Park, there lived a pregnant elephant who captured the attention of the park workers. Her name was Peru, and she was already a seasoned mother. Several years prior, Peru had given birth to a calf who had grown into a robust and thriving individual. The bond between Peru and her calf was particularly strong, as the young one happened to be a female. Among elephant communities, female elephants display remarkable loyalty towards one another. Male elephants, on the other hand, are generally content with solitary lives, wandering alone for most of their existence. Female elephants, however, possess an inherent need for socialization and bonding with their family members. Female calves, in particular, spend a significant portion of their lives in the company of their mothers, more so than any other wild animal. These female elephants can maintain strong bonds for several decades forging lasting connections within their closely knit society. Nora Nijirani, a dedicated member of the Ambasili Trust for Elephants, was approached to shed light on the behavior of African elephants in the park. She explained their family dynamics. A family unit among elephants consists of cousins, grandmothers, and sisters who remain together for their entire lives. The oldest female assumes the role of the leader. And interestingly, there is no father figure within the family. Elephants are highly intelligent creatures, and their complex emotions have captivated the attention of animal researchers. They are among the few species in the animal kingdom, known to mourn their deceased and exhibit distinct ways of expressing joy and happiness. However, one of their more remarkable characteristics is their unwavering love for their family members particularly the profound bond between a mother and her offspring. Peru and her daughter shared an inseparable bond from the moment of birth. The affectionate, gentle-natured calf would always stay close to her mother, never venturing too far. While such behavior is common among elephants, there is an undeniable uniqueness in the connection between these two individuals. As time passed, Peru became pregnant once again, bringing joy not only to the park workers but also to wildlife conservationists. The anticipation of a new addition to the family stirred excitement and a sense of hope for the future of these magnificent creatures. It appeared that Peru was on track to have another successful and trouble-free delivery, which brought hope for her and the overall African elephant population. Despite being just one individual, her pregnancy held significance for the conservation efforts throughout. During Peru's pregnancy, 
her devoted daughter remained faithfully by her side. It seemed as though the young elephant was eagerly anticipating the arrival of her new sibling. When the long-awaited day finally arrived, Peru's daughter watched attentively. Her curiosity peaked. Several park workers were at the scene, prepared to assist the pregnant elephant in any way necessary. Initially, Peru was slightly overdue, but the workers remained optimistic about the outcome. However, as time passed, a sense of concern began to creep in among some of the workers. They couldn't ignore that Peru's swollen belly appeared more pronounced than in her previous pregnancy, raising worries that something might be amiss. The 39-year-old mother elephant, Peru, exuded a calm demeanor, appearing entirely prepared to embrace the arrival of her new offspring. The birth duration of a baby elephant can vary, ranging from a few hours to a few days, depending on various factors. Remarkably, Peru required only a single day to complete the birthing process. Word spread throughout the park that this pregnant elephant had finally given birth. An excitement and joy filled the air. However, this was no ordinary pregnancy. To the astonishment of the workers, Peru delivered something unprecedented in 40 years. In March 2018, she gave birth to twins. A male and a female calf. Seeing the mother elephant with her newborn twins left everyone in awe. It had been four decades since. The last occurrence of twin births in Ambasili National Park. And it was the only recorded instance of twins in the park's history. The matriarch at the time was named Estella. And her miraculous offspring, born during the summer, were given the names Equinox and Eclipse. Twins are already a rarity among humans. But according to the Kenya Wildlife Service, they are even more exceptional for elephants. Considering the declining population of African elephants in the wild, the prospect of mothers producing multiple offspring is undeniably heartening for conservation efforts. However, conservationists are mindful that the survival rate for siblings born simultaneously is typically quite low. Shortly after their birth, the twin calves were seamlessly integrating into an existing elephant herd of approximately 40 individuals. Like their older sister, these twins formed an inseparable bond with their mother. Pair bonding among elephants is strong. But if the young twins happened to stray a bit farther from Peru, their older sibling would dutifully accompany and watch over them. Many observers would say that Peru's first daughter had assumed a maternal role. Whenever their mother would venture across the land to graze, the twins would huddle together seeking comfort and closeness. Whenever Peru created some physical distance between herself and her offspring, the twins would gravitate towards each other, reinforcing their sibling bond. There were numerous moments when the energetic young ones would engage in playful activities. While their older sister patiently observed their antics, you can see they're moving together in three, remarked Kenneth O. L. Nashu the senior warden of Ambasili National Park, who, like others, was assigned the particular task of protecting Peru and her family. Many park workers have witnessed Peru's journey from a young elephant to the mature and nurturing mother she is today. It seems that her innate purpose was destined to be a mother. Fortunately, Peru has enjoyed good health throughout both pregnancies, and no complications have arisen. It is as if she has always been surrounded by good fortune. The zest for life displayed by Peru's calves resonates with the park visitors and those who have come across their heartwarming stories throughout social media. We can only wish these remarkable elephant calves a promising and prosperous future. Gina, a lonely old woman, has spent her whole life in a small village. In Caliph's view, the grandmother's fate is quite difficult. The grandmother was stubborn, and both her husband and son died unexpectedly. So the grandmother died alone, and never thought about finding another new partner. Ordinary villages set on vast fields, narrow log cabins, country streets, houses, farms, 
and the men in the village are handsome. But the strong Russian woman learned to live the harsh country life alone. Doing housework alone and raising goats, chickens and cows on the farm. Gina likes going to the forest. Local gossip says she went into the forest with the big basket to gather herbs for magical rituals and perform magic tricks. Grandma Gina's life just got a whole lot easier thanks to nature's bounty of regularly gathering fresh mushrooms and berries. One day, Grandma Gina went to the forest to walk around to get some fresh air and stretch her legs. If you're lucky, you might pick up some goodies. She lingered for a long time just enjoying the scent of the forest and listening to the sounds of the birds in the forest. Walking through a familiar path, you can see huge pine and fir trees. And everything around you is full of bright colors. Suddenly she heard a moaning sound nearby. And Gina didn't immediately think of who could make such a strange sound. And her heart was full of anxiety and curiosity. She wanted to pretend she didn't know and leave directly. But her conscience didn't allow it. After walking more than 20 steps, she saw a tigress had died on the ground. The cub screamed heart-piercingly and put his nose against his mother. But to no avail. Gina picked up the cub. And she quickly brought the cub home. She arranged for it to be roomed in a warm and cozy place in the corner. And began to feed the poor little tiger with goat's milk. Whining under her breath who hurt poor you. The cub has beautiful stripes. A girl named Alice discovered that Gina had kept a tiger. While working with the local residents. The villagers were very angry when they heard the news. And they demanded that the tiger be released back into the forest. Meanwhile, the little tiger is growing up every day. Locals were surprised and terrified. But the beast behind the fence didn't run out. Behaving almost like a domestic pet. The tiger guarded grandma and never took a step away. As time passed, the tiger became bigger and bigger. And the villagers worried about their lives. Start gossiping behind other people's backs. Even tried to threaten Gina. She also knew the time had come because this wasn't the best place for him to live. So they went to the woods together. And they said goodbye for a long time. Looking into each other's eyes. The tiger seemed to understand everything at last. And disappeared into the bushes. Grandma Gina really misses it. She will never see it again. Later, when the old lady went to the forest to pick fruit. The tiger sensed her breath jumped out, and almost threw the old lady to the ground happily. And then began to lick her face. From then on, Grandma began to go to the forest more frequently. Always bringing gifts with her. Grandma is very happy with it. Life also returned to normal. One day someone knocked on her door. And Gina was surprised who it could be. After all, no one came to see her. So she thought someone needed help. She went to the door and opened it without asking who it was. There are only locals here and everyone knows each other. Nothing to be afraid of. The door opened. And a man stood in the doorway. His face was familiar to Grandma. Before she could ask him what he wanted. She was pinned to the floor by a scoundrel. He tied Grandma's hands skillfully. Gag her and order her not to move or scream. Or kill her. They started looting all the valuables he could find in the house. Putting them in bags. Grandma looked at the gangster and cried. How can you be so brazen? She thought she had nothing of value. But until that bastard found her secret. Memories as family heirlooms have been around for a long time. And this is the most precious thing in the Gina family. The thief took the things and dragged Gina to the street. Neighbors were stunned to see such a scene. They yelled to let her go and started making emergency calls. When the police arrived, they took detailed notes of what had happened. They promised to do what they could and then left. Gina was crying at home alone. For two days, there was no news from the police. Grandma didn't cook like she used to. Suddenly there was a sound outside the door. Gina took a tool and opened the door carefully. And found that the tiger was holding a big bag standing on the threshold. 
It was the bag stolen by the robbers. Gina opened the bag to see what was stolen. It's all there, and the all-important heirlooms are there too. Gina sat next to the tigress and began to stroke it gently. Making it purr. No one found out. And no one knows what happened. The police have been looking for the suspect for a long time. But they would never have thought that. A tiger would help them solve the case. You can't argue with the fact that dogs are adorable pets. No surprise they are considered man's best friend. Luckily dog owners always spend a lot of time with their pets. And manage to capture interesting things for us and touching moments. California couple Joshua Fisher. And his wife decided to adopt a dog to join their family of three young boys. Lennox, Cruz, and Antigon. They selected a pair of heavyweight dogs. And brought home two Newfoundland dogs. Named Persia and Rafi who, despite their size, were very cute and affectionate and loved them. The three little masters take good care of them. The three kids live with two dogs. The parents are happy that their kids get along well with their pets. They are practically inseparable. As I said, Persia and Rafi are two Newfoundland dogs. Meaning they each weigh 60 kilograms. Cruz played a lot of baseball. He was on the school team. He took baseball very seriously. And he was constantly anxious about it. And the whole family wanted to go to his next game and cheer him on. And they wanted to be happy with this. The kids showed their support but. Unfortunately dogs were not allowed to take part and. Cruz found it odd not having the support of his beloved dog. When the whole family was getting ready to go to the race. Huge dogs rushed across the yard but Cruz was unfazed as. He was polite and one of the dogs wished the boy good luck. Before the game and started licking his face and. Poking his nose in the boy's shoulder to show his support. The video was filmed in 2016 and judging by social media. The kids are still having fun with their pets. Titled, Giant Newfoundland Gives Good Luck Kiss, has more. Than 600 views on YouTube and. It has been viewed 10,000 times and has gone viral. With many commenters writing that. There is nothing sweeter than owning a huge. Kind dog. In 2019. The Fishers sold their old house and embarked on a road trip across. The United States in their RV. Wanting to visit all the states in their area. We're just going where God leads us. Our family plans to have this joyful wild life this year. We want to visit all 50 states here. They started sharing details of their journey on Instagram. And now have over 200,000 followers. However, their page is still most famous for two huge and very cute dogs. Newfoundland dogs are very capable and intelligent. These noble dogs are one of the largest pets and get along well with people. But if as you consider keeping this breed of dog yourself, you need to understand that. They require a lot of attention and companionship. As they say, there are no bad dogs, only bad owners.